Hello, lovely internet strangers. This is the first time I'm recording here in Austin, so bear with me. I do not have all the kinks worked out. In the future, maybe I'll record in a different room that is a little bit more soundproof, but if I waited to get everything perfectly set up, then I would not make this video at all. And it's important that I make this video because I have updates on what to expect from this channel going forward and from me generally. I know my last video on this channel was also an update where I asked you guys why the hell you were still here, basically. And I got a few comments, but at that time I was in the throes of preparing to move to Austin, and then I moved to Austin, and my life has changed a lot in a year. So the TLDR is that I am finally launching a Substack. I have thought about doing this for a long time, and it was only last year that I actually started working on it. I had parked the Substack for a while, but I felt really daunted about trying to figure out my voice as the A square in written form versus in video form. But back in November, I finally posted a piece of content to that Substack. It was sort of an update on me and where I'm at with this identity as the A square, and it outlined my intentions for this new Substack. I didn't want to make an announcement about it at that time because I wasn't sure when I was going to post again with actual content, and I didn't want to show up and say, hey, I've got a Substack, and then nothing comes of it. But I finally finished my first piece of real content for that Substack, and so I'm finally ready to make an official announcement about it. This YouTube channel is not going away. I will still post video content on here, but I'm not sure at what cadence I will do so. At the moment, my intention is to focus on doing the feminist and anti-feminist book reviews. I have notes from a few books that I had read already, and I just never made the videos about those books, so that's probably the next video content that you'll see, probably a series of videos on the feminine mystique. And while I'm working on those, I will, in the background, try to read through The Second Sex, which is monstrously long, but I've been wanting to read it for a while, as it is one of of the most seminal feminist texts. Before I start posting those videos though, I do have some old footage from about a year ago that I recorded before moving to Austin that was a response to some of Louise Perry's claims about Hugh Hefner and Marilyn Monroe, which I strongly disagreed with. I need to review the footage and see if I still agree with what I said and feel confident with how the footage came out, such that I feel like it would be worth it to edit and post. So you may or may not see that. If you do, I'll put a lot of caveats that this is really old and I just wanted to share it so that there would be some new actual content on this channel. Substack does have video, but it's a relatively new feature, and for the moment I want to keep my videos here. I want to get more subscribers. I get a lot of traffic from suggested videos and from YouTube search terms, so video will stay here for now. But there will probably be more frequent content on my Substack. I still don't know how frequent because I have a different creative project that I'm also dedicated to, plus I have things that I'm doing to make income, plus I have a social life, plus I have a major volunteer commitment now, so I'm trying to do my best and not spread myself too thin, but I would love it if you would follow me over on Substack. You can subscribe for free so that all new content will go directly to your inbox, or if you're not a fan of Substack for whatever reason, you can just take the URL and put it into whatever feed reader you use. So you can read all about my intentions for the Substack in my intro post titled Secret Identity Crisis, which I will link in the description, but in general, I had just been feeling like the person I was when I created this channel back in 2017 was such a different person and the world was such a different place and my channel was just feeling a little too disjointed. The things that I wanted to comment on had changed, so that's why I'm going to try to focus my video content a little bit more and use my substack to throw spaghetti at the wall a little bit, talk about whatever I want to talk about, and also because video just is more time consuming. I'm kind of a perfectionist about it. I know my production quality isn't super high, but in terms of making sure that the final product, everything that I say, is exactly what I want to say, which either means spending a lot of time scripting up front so that I have less edits to do on the back end, 
or I speak off the cuff, but then that means lots of edits to make sure that the end product is coherent. And I have to go on camera, so it has to be on a day where I'm feeling confident about how I look and I have to get the whole outfit on and set up, and make sure the lighting's okay and the sound's okay, and there's all the editing and the uploading and everything. So writing is something I've been doing my whole life, but I've got pretty good at doing writing for publication with this other creative project I've been working on. So I've been feeling more confident about writing as the A square. I'm also using the name Spencer Drake over on that Substack because I wanted to have a real name that everyone could use instead of the A square, but I'll still be using the A square branding. However, the Substack itself is called Hello Lovely Internet Strangers because as any subscriber of this channel will know, that is the phrase I use to begin every single video. There are some videos that I was originally planning to do that I will probably now do as posts on Substack. Somebody had asked me about doing an overview of the red pill community, and that would be a lot easier to do as a post where I could provide a lot of links. I've also wanted to do an overview of all the controversies over the last decade with the Hugo Awards, the Science Fiction and Fantasy Awards, and that would also be a lot easier to do as a series of posts rather than videos. There's also a type of post that I would like to do that I call culture war history. Ideally, I would like to publish these around the anniversary of when some of these things happened. For example, later this year, I believe it will be the 10 year anniversary of that woman walking the streets of New York, showing everyone how bad cat calling is, that video. And I would love to do an essay about that as like a trip down memory lane for the people that were there, but also explain it to people who were not paying attention and are trying to play catch up now or don't know what they don't know. I also plan to do audio. I've been doing audio for my other creative project and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about my voice. And historically in my YouTube comments on this channel, I also have gotten many positive comments about my voice. So the kinds of Ace Squares Corner videos that I was doing for a while, I might do that sort of commentary in audio format on my Substack. I haven't really figured out yet exactly what I want to use the audio space for, but that's in the works as well. And finally, I've also created a Discord server because I get lots of great YouTube comments here, but sometimes I don't get notified about them. Sometimes YouTube deletes them and it's really hard to have an ongoing dialogue with people. There are some people that have transcended the YouTube comments. We moved to email or Twitter DMs or something like that. But I also think that there are people in my comment section that would also enjoy talking to each other and and the YouTube comment section just isn't a great place to do that. So feel free to jump in there. It's super simple right now. As people get in there, I'll figure out what channels people want or what the community, so to speak, wants. But at the moment, there's places to have discussions about my content, place to have general discussions, and a place to share memes. So I hope you'll join there if you're a Discord person, or even if you're not, maybe this is a reason enough to join Discord. Even if you don't subscribe to my Substack or follow it, if that content is not of interest to you, I do suggest you read the piece Secret Identity Crisis because it will give you a little bit of an idea of where I'm at with this brand. I obviously hope to find many of you following my Substack because I want to keep delivering content to you, but if you're just going to stay a YouTube subscriber, there will be content maybe within the next couple of months, but even if it takes two, three months, I'm not going away. The A Square will continue on. I don't know if this project will ever be my career, but it feels really important to keep going with it. It's definitely a passion project. And thank you so much to everyone who has remained subscribed over all these years. And welcome, I guess, to the new subscribers because I've gotten several new subscribers in the last month. And I have continued to get more subscribers since my last update video a year ago, despite not posting any new content. So the algorithm is working its magic, I guess. If you are someone who has commented on my YouTube channel relatively recently, I will try to reply 
reply, but I might direct you over to the Discord because it's easier to talk there. So if you get a random comment reply for me after like six months, that's because I'm trying to uh, get caught up on all that correspondence, so to speak. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. I'm not gonna do my whole usual outro about liking the video and subscribing because I feel like this video is just for the subscribers, so really what I'm asking is to go read the Secret Identity Crisis piece. I'll also link my first piece of real content, which is a newsletter that I'm calling Internet Brain Damage, and subscribe to my Substack or put it in your feed reader so you will know when I post new content. I will do the normal, absolute final part of the outro, which is, I hope to have more content for you very soon.